Hi lovely water signs, Jenny here from Joy Energy Tarot. This is your intuitive guided reading for the week of June the 10th till the 16th. I hope it resonates. Um, if it doesn't, doesn't matter, go and watch another lovely reader. Okay, you can see that I've done all the shuffling, I've already done all the asking, and if you guys wait till the end of the video, you will get your own personal messages for Cancer, Scorpio and Pisces. So let me know what you think, whether you like this um, format better, you know, the the up down type uh, um, videoing and whether this where you're watching from whether this resonates I read all your comments okay you guys start off with the two of cups so this is about if you're in a relationship um, you are you can be soulmates but this is all about your relationship growing to bigger uh, greater depths this can be about meeting people from a past life situation where you recognize them but also it doesn't actually have people around it so I feel that this is all about you guys learning about yourself learning about your soul journey, learning about what makes you happy. Then you've got the death card right next to it. So this is all about you transforming. So your life is changing completely from how it was. So you are transforming, your life is transforming, you are growing. So I feel that's what that Two of Cups is about too, is where you're learning all about yourself. You then have underneath that, because I'm going to go down this way, because this seems to be a different story. Underneath all of this, you are going to get justice. So some of you may have been fighting with a partner in the courts or um, some sort of legal matter going on. Uh, so obviously when you get the justice cards, it's going to go in your favour. But this is all about uh, seeing things clearly, being logical, cutting through the BS, and justice will come to you. You may have contracts to sign if you're starting a new job and changing jobs or moving house or anything like that. So this can represent contracts, um, things to sign, but also if it isn't, it's about you guys getting the balance back in your life. It's like karma. What's What you deserve is going to come back to you. But I just feel that you're still feeling quite trapped. So whatever's been happening to you, you don't want to see. You're looking down. So even though you're in the cage, you've got your angel wings there, you don't want to see something. Something's blocking you or you're blocking something. So eights are again about karma. So this is about releasing that, releasing the past, letting go of, um, I got prejudiced. For some of you, it might be prejudiced ideas, outdated ideas, so that you can set yourself free. If it isn't that, even though it is a, a thinking card, sometimes it's what the situation that you're in makes you feel trapped, but it's the way you're looking at it. So plan something different. Then you go on to the King of Pentacles, and it's really weird because I have male and female in this pack. To clarify, it is the King of Pentacles. So they're trying to tell you over again and um, uh, that you are safe, you are secure, you have got enough money for everything you need. You should be reaping the rewards now from all the hard work and you you are safe and secure. So that um, Eight of Swords card there, there's some sort of thinking which you can change because your angels and guides, T Puna ancestors are saying, no, you are safe and you are secure. And then you've got temperance. So temperance is all about juggling your options, mixing and matching, like being the old alchemist, getting the balance back in your life. And temperance is all about having patience while these things are going. And then you've got the six of cups. So I feel whatever you're dealing with, it can be to do with family or it can be to do with someone from the past that's been bothering you or annoying you or, or, or something, but you are getting justice, okay? And this can be sometimes to right back to your childhood. Something has triggered you and it's reminding you of your childhood, but now it's time to release it to be able to move on. And others of you are just thinking about when you were happier in the past. It's like a reminiscing type card. Then covering the whole reading, you have got the Nine of Cups. So this is about um, wishes being full, fulfilled, dreams starting to happen, things starting to come to fruition that you've been really dreaming about and wanting. Okay, now just remember with these cards, they are cards, they're energy, this can happen, but you have to make the moves and actually get off your bum and make it happen, you know what I mean, so you start going towards whatever it is that you want and then the universe intervenes and helps you, but you have to start it, and then you've got the king of swords here, so the king of swords can be a lawyer, a teacher, someone who works with their brain, someone who's very knowledgeable, this can be you guys too. These are all the lessons that you've been learning and now instead of looking at things emotionally, you can see things absolutely clearly and logically. But there could be someone around you that guides you with that because then you've got the five of wands and the five of wands is often about conflict but fives are choice, change, freedom 
And in this, you've learnt from these lessons that you've been going through to look at the glass half full, not half empty, some of you. But she's plotting her next move, and that's what you're doing. Not anything bad. You should be planning your future because you've got the death card. Whatever that situation was, it's over, finished. Because then you've got here beautiful cards, Knight of Cups. Follow your own intuition. There's some sort of offer or some guidance or... Um, summer invite coming in and follow your heart, your heart it's going to make your heart sing and you're going to feel really really good and it's right next to the sun card joy happiness everything turning out positively oh whoops that's the ace of cups and the sun sorry both of them the sun it's going to be fabulous and it's the beginning of feeling happier again yeah so there's an offer coming in which is going to make you feel great and then it's going to affect your life and make things go feel really really good again Okay, Cancer, what do you need to learn this week? You've got Guru Ram Das, miraculous moment. Harmony surrounds you, so expect miracles. Woohoo, that's fabulous. And then you have Soul Family. Wonderful new friends are coming to you now. You are attracting your Soul Family in to support you in moving forward with your life's purpose. Wow, isn't that deep? Wonderful. Scorpio, you have got Bridget. Inner fire. Let your passion lead you to your purpose. So whatever you love doing, it's going to be to do with the purpose that you're here for. So follow what it is that, that makes you feel really excited about things. And then you've got an intuition. You intuitively know what to do in this situation. Trust your inner guidance and follow through with your plans. No one knows what you need but you. So only you, Scorpio, know what is best for you. And follow your intuition because your intuition is really, really good. And you know, and you guys know you're always right. So follow your heart. Follow, I can see the heart thing here in the in the cards too. So follow your intuition. And Pisces, you have got Ishtar, inner learnings. Follow your heart, truth prevails. So this is another one about following your heart. Look at the beautiful artwork. So again, follow you, your heart. You water signs are very, very intuitive, so you should always follow your own guidance. And then you've got wait. Now is not the best time for this move. The energies will be more aligned at a later date and things will flow more smoothly then. So I think that's fabulous because uh, I have a son who's a Pisces and he's just told me this, exactly this. So he's following his intuition. So whatever it is that you were thinking of doing, um, so even though like Scorpio says follow your plans, um, follow, but Pisces is more about the temperance card here, you guys have to just wait a little bit longer, but obviously this is a general reading so it won't resonate with all of you, some of you might have been thinking of a particular plan, but they're just saying you know the conditions will be better if you just wait a little bit longer, and so it's all different for all of you, and um, but you've definitely got the king of pentacles twice, so that's all about confirming that you are safe, that you're secure, that the money is coming in. Sometimes you don't need to know where it's coming from, but it's coming in and you're going to be, um, you know, reaping the rewards from your hard work. So whatever it is that you put out there is now about to come back, especially with the Justice card. That's about getting that balance back in your life. So just be careful with words, what you say, what you put out there. You know, if you're saying, oh, I'm running out of money or something like that, it's you don't want to put that out there. You want money always flows easily to me. Um, I always have enough money for everything I need and more. Thank you. Things like that. Use your affirmations to bring in what it is that you really, really want and be kind to people. Okay, lovelies, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week. Blessings to you all. And don't forget to leave a comment because I do read them. Thanks so much. See you all again. Ka kiri no. Bye.